Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have a really exciting video. We have another complexion product to share my thoughts on. And it's interesting because I've actually had this product about three weeks before it launched and I've been wearing it in a lot of videos. I'm finally here to share what this product is, give my thoughts on it. This is not a first impressions, this is a full on review, especially because I have had this product in my possession for a couple of weeks now, and I actually can tell you how I feel about it. So without further ado, let's get into the video. <music> Lips are dry. Okay, so I am on a time crunch right now. I'm going to see the musical Spam a lot, which I'm really excited about. So I actually am on my way out the door, but I was like, I know a lot of you have been asking for my thoughts on this right here, which is new from Too Faced. This is the Born This Way Healthy Glow SPF 30 Skin Tint. I thought today I would wear it and I'll do like a wear test and show you this product on my skin. This is what the bottle looks like. It has a squeeze applicator, which is so cute. So a little bit about this product. It has a 24 hour wear. It's vegan, has UVA slash UVB protection, all day hydration, and it's non acne genic. So I have mine in the shade Chai. Chai is the shade that I use in the OG Born This Way foundations, the matte version and the natural finish version. That is my shade and that is also my shade in the skin tint. This is a skin tint, so the shade range is not going to be super, super large because this is a product that, I f that will definitely work across a lot of skin tones, especially because it is a skin tint. So I have been wearing this product literally every single day since I got my hands on it. It is so beautiful. I feel like this product came at the perfect time, like right here at the start of summer. I've been using this product with a brush and with a sponge. I'm gonna use a sponge on this side and a brush on the other. I just wanna show you how each side blends with certain products. So I'm just taking my sponge and just tapping this in. It has like a natural finish, which I absolutely love but it also has coverage. This is a skin tint with coverage, okay? It is so pretty. I've seen some comments about people thinking that this wouldn't work for oily skin. I have combo skin and this product works so beautifully for me. Just look at how beautiful this side of my face looks. My skin looks so good. This is one of those products that feels so lightweight on the skin, like there's nothing on the face, which I think is perfect going into these hot summer months because I like to wear makeup all year round, but I also don't really like my skin to feel heavy. You know, there are certain makeup looks that I wear where I feel like it's heavy because of how much makeup I have on. I love the fact that if I was going to like a theme park or a party, this is the product that I can wear because it's a skin tint that gives me the coverage that I'm looking for. This is what it is, one layer blended out with a sponge. I absolutely love using a sponge with this. I'm gonna go in on this side with the brush and I'm just going to blend this out. Depending on my mood, that's when I will go in with whatever application, but I will say both applications work beautifully with this skin tint, so. That is a plus for me. The skin looks so beautiful. This does say it has a glow to it, but it's such a natural glow that it doesn't look super glowy. You know, if I was comparing this to, let's say, the Huda Beauty glowish skin tint, it's not glowy like that. This is like the perfect amount of glow for me. I also love the fact that there's SPF in here, which makes me very happy. This product does retail for $42. There's also coconut water in here, Alphine Rose, and Hyaluronic Acid. But yeah, overall, the finish looks so so beautiful. This is one layer and one layer is literally all that I need. It is a skin tint. Like if I wanted more full coverage, then I would go in with actual foundation. But for a skin tint, this is the perfect amount of coverage and I absolutely love it. I do have a new product from Makeup by Mario that I want to test out. Well, I've already tested this on my TikTok, but this is a product I just wanted to show on camera for you in case you're curious about this. And I'm also going to compare this with the OG Moisture Glow because I, you know, I like to come in clutch for you. So yeah, so I'm going to do the rest of my makeup, then we'll do the lips together. So I did my makeup. Everything that I'm wearing will be listed and linked down below in the description. So I already lined my lips. I went in with the Makeup by Mario lip liner in the shade Jeff. Such a beautiful lip liner shade. I'm 
obsessed with it. This right here is the new Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Color. So this retails for $24. It's the exact same price as the OG Moisture Glow. It also has a doe foot. So the shade that I picked up is Barely Pink. There were so many beautiful shades that I wanted to pick up, but I was like, no, slow down Tati, wait for the Sephora sale and get it, you know, get it then. So I'm gonna apply this. It goes on like water, literally just like water. Look at this pigment. I'm just gonna focus this in the center of the lips. This is such a pretty everyday like nude lip combo. It is so gorgeous. I cannot get over this. It is, oh my goodness. Oh my God, my lip liner just broke. <laughs> That's not good. Look at that. Focusing it in the center is just so beautiful. It gives like a really pretty glossy finish. It says it's plumping, but I don't feel like it's as like plumping as the OG Moisture Glow because I feel like this one is just more of like a cooling sensation. It feels like kind of cooling, but not like plumping. Like it just feels like air going onto my lips, if that makes sense. The OG Moisture Glow has less pigmentation, definitely has more plumping, and it also is like one of those like twist up you know, type of situations. And it's more of like a serum. Now the new one is super glossy, has a lot of pigment to it, less of a tingly feel. I think I prefer this one much more because it gives me like that glossy look that I like to go for on the regular. But both of them are really nice. But if you had to choose one, I would definitely get the lip color. If you like pigment, if you don't like pigment, stick with the lip serum. But if you like pigment and you like extreme glossy, you know, that glossy look, go with the new one. There's so many shades. Like I have like six shades in my Sephora cart that I really want to get during the sale, but I have to slow myself down. I can't do it. Now that we have this on and the makeup is done, I'm going to get started with this wear test. Right now it is 1.19 p.m. I'm going to keep this on all day. We're going to go through the motions and I just want you to see how this wears because I really like this product. I think it wears really, really well. So I want you to see it on camera. Let's uh, get started with this wear test and I will check in with you guys in a little while. Okay, it is 5.25 p.m. It's like the peak of golden hour. The makeup is truly makeuping right now and I am loving every bit of it. I also forgot to put on primer today. So this is with no primer on as well. So that's also awesome. But everything looks so good. I don't feel oily. I feel like my skin has like that natural glow to it. I will say after wearing the Makeup by Mario Plumping lip color, it does wear off really quickly. I think I had it on for about 30 minutes and I felt like it was already time to like reapply. But I feel like the makeup looks so good. I'm like really impressed. I'm like very, very impressed. All right, we are in our last check-in. It is officially eight o'clock p.m. I've had this on since about one. And the makeup looks so good. Look, we're gonna zoom in. I'm gonna zoom in because mind you, I completely forgot to put on primer today. So I had no primer on. And to be honest, I didn't, I don't feel like I even needed to have primer because I feel like I'm just getting a tiny, tiny bit oily by my eyebrows. I'm very, very impressed with the makeup. I feel like I have a little bit, just a little tiny, tiny bit of separation here around my mouth, but I did eat. I did wipe a lot on my, around my mouth, so, and I did not touch up any of my makeup. And this is the result that I've been seeing every day since trying this out. I could not wait to get on camera and show you guys my makeup and how this product looks. We have another banger in the Born This Way line. I already love the foundations. So when this came out, I was so excited to try it. I had high hopes because the entire Born This Way line is so good. And this product is literally no different. If you're looking for a good skin tint for the summertime that feels lightweight, that works for oily skin, this is it right here. I feel like this was such a successful wear test. I'm also a little bit oily on my nose, but like this is the two areas that I get oily, but I feel like I can still keep going, you know? I've gotten so many compliments on my makeup today. I went to the mall, I went eat, I went to see a musical with my boyfriend, outside at the park eating, you saw that. I went to Walmart. Yeah, honestly, this is truly a winner for me and it's definitely Tatiana Nisa approved. I really, really love the skin tint, so.
But that is it for today's video. Definitely let me know your thoughts down below. I know my video is so late and I wish I could have had it up sooner, but I... I just couldn't, but uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts down below and I will definitely catch you in my next video. Bye guys. Uh, uh.